What's up, GQ? I go by the name of Ludacris, and today I'm going undercover on the internet. It's actually me. We were filming, I believe, Fast 7 right here, or it might be 6. No, 7, or maybe 8. I just lose count these days, I don't know. Let's check Twitter. Miss Camilla says, ask Luda, what artist has influenced you the most? You can pick from all genres, pop, rock, rap, anything. Um, that's a really good question. I say some of the people that influenced me the most are Outkast, uh, Scarface, even Jay-Z, B.I.G., Tupac, just to name a few. Some of my favorite artists. And I know that's all rap, by the way. <laughs> Ludacris, serious question. What do you think, in your opinion, has been the smartest investment you've made outside of music? I would say real estate. I have a lot of real estate all around the country and um, it's all gone up in value. So I would say that's probably the smartest investment I've made. Reply, Nick M. Equally as important a question, how does it feel to be a top five all-time rapper? Thank you very much for that compliment, Nick M. I, I mean, it feels phenomenal, man. It feels great you know, to be in movies, uh, one of the top five franchises of all time and be one of the top five rappers of all time. That's how I feel, yeah. You may not believe it, but it's actually me. Mr. McBabe says, Ludacris, how did your friendship with Paul Walker impact you personally? What did he teach you about yourself and life in general? Um, it impacted me more than words can explain. I can tell you he taught me a lot about life, about not taking life so serious, uh, about giving back even more than I already did, about the earth and about saving our earth and our planet and our animals. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing, man, and it's great memories that I have with him. Now on to Cora. Why does Ludacris go by that name? Is it self-deprecating? Joke. <laughs> what is the history behind the name? No, it's just a fun name. If you look up the real Ludacris word in the dictionary, it just says beyond wild, crazy, ridiculous. I think that pretty much explains my videos, my style, everything about me. And that's why I, I named myself Ludacris. And my first name is Chris. So it was just me being creative. Is it true that Ludacris from Fast and Furious movies is related to Richard Pryor? That is a great question, man. Richard Pryor is literally like my fifth or sixth cousin. Peoria, Illinois. Um, we were out, my mother's from Illinois, he is on my mother's side of the family, so yes, I am related to Richard Pryor, but it's kind of far down the line. Tick tock. Woo! Woo! That's not me doing that, baby. That's the car doing that. Three things, how do you do that? Are there any other cars like that? Will this car be in the next Fast and Furious movie? I can't promise that the new Maybach uh, truck will be in the damn Fast and Furious movie, but there are other trucks like that. And how do you do it? There's a there's a mode in there that makes you do that like hydraulic bump. So when you get those new cars, that's what it does. It does it on its own. You can kind of shake snow off. You can shake certain things off the car. It's pretty innovative and pretty dope. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Somebody said, how do I look so young? If you're over 21 years of age, you got to drink at least two alcoholic beverages a day and it'll reverse aging. Instagram. Luda, please tell me you're doing a Back for the Second Time album. <laughs> uh, that, I can't confirm or deny that, but that's a great idea. I believe that. It's actually me. Why are you wearing the arms from the Get Back video? I wish I was wearing the arms from the Get Back video. Those are actually my arms. I work out like six days a week. I am not able to keep up with the rock in the gym, but my lifelong goal one day is to be able to do that. More Cora. What is Ludacris like in real life? Uh, probably more down to earth and just real chill because whenever the camera's on, I'm always really, really animated and loud and crazy. So I got to balance that out. When I'm in real life with my family, I'm just real calm, cool, and collected. Post it. Does Ludacris own a Tesla? I do not own a Tesla, but maybe one day I will. We got to save our planet and everybody has to do their part. Favorite car that I own at the moment, my 93 Acura Legend that I still have, man. It's had us over 250,000 miles on it to this day. Believe that. Instagram, you really like them Acuras. Yes, man. I, I like Acuras, I like Mercedes, I like a little bit of everything, but my mom has that Acura. That's my mom's Fast and Furious car, as you see. If you go to my social media, you guys can uh, follow me and you'll be able to check out a lot more of fun like that. Is Ludacris getting the fro back? The one from Fast 2? Yeah, I don't know, man. It just started growing and I didn't cut it. Who would have known? You can check it out right now. This is all me, baby. So yeah, you never know. I might just let it keep growing. Back to Twitter. 
All right, my man Savage. Ludacris, any plans on a new Ludacris album in 2022? The rap game needs Luda. I actually do have plans to put out an album next year. Glad you asked that. I will be working on it as soon as I get finished filming this movie, man, that I'm filming right now called End of the Road with Bo Bridges and Queen Latifah. Next, this is Corey, ACJ09W. Question, on the song War With God, who was you talking to? Cause you was going in. <laughs> I was talking to anybody who wanted to smoke. That's the best way to answer your question. Ludacris, you just recreated your debut album cover from 2000. You still got that chain, the bracelet, and watch from the original photo? Man, I probably didn't, because what I used to do is trade in old chains in order to get money on the new chain. Every album I had a different chain, so I don't even think I have that same chain, bracelet, and the watch from the original photo. Sorry to disappoint you. It's me, for real. No, seriously. Bryson genre. Ludacris, I got a question. Listening to Southern Fried Intro, the guy who segues after your first verse, never noticed before, but is that two chains? The answer to your question is yes, that is him talking on there. That's dope that you noticed. Wikipedia. In January 2020, Ludacris acquired Gabonese citizenship along with his mother and his three daughters. Yes, this is true. My wife, who is from there, grew up there, was born there, actually, actually surprised the entire family because she knew the government there and they thought it would be an honor in order to make that happen. So she was the one that helped facilitate that. So all praise is due to Mrs. Bridges. YouTube. Anyone notice how all these people helped Justin rise as an artist? Yeah, man, Peaches Remix. The, um, they sent it to me. They said they wanted to do something. They told me it was gonna be Usher, myself, and Snoop Dogg. And I got on there and I just did what I did, man. What can I say? I had fun with it. They put me on the first verse. I love the finished product and it seems that the rest of the world loves it too. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying the Peaches Remix. Justin Bieber, Ludacris, Usher, Snoop Dogg, all love. All right, guys, I'm sorry to go, but I gotta get out of here, that's it. Until next time, peace out.